Hey, so glad to have you back on the John and the Josephine YouTube vlog station. Hey, right, I've got something special for you today. Um, this is the me moment. It's one of those days, no makeups, just me at home, had a long day. Um, it's been sort of um, very low. I mean, you know, when, when the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength kind of days, yes, it's been one of those days. I've had not so pleasant day but hey with all things i'm still thankful for life and i'm glad that you are also alive and you're well so i'm going to be talking to you about some personal stuff today this is the john dimension of the john and the josephine's vlog um, um on channel on youtube so i'm going to take you through a quick tour a quick tour i say a quick tour of uh, my my little studio in the house. I don't know if some of you um, um, have seen it. Well, it's just we're still building the studio, so it's not it's not a lot. I'm just going to take you through a, a, through a, a quick tour of the little studio, my little getaway space in the house, where um, I just hide myself in the house, lock myself up, and I find me, I find solace, I just find peace. And hey, it's not the bedroom. <laughs> it's not the bedroom. I'm going to show you through. I'm going to take you through some of the things, um, like um, videos I watch. I, I'm a Big myself and Josephine, we are big collectors of um, movies. I'm gonna show you some DVDs that we've, 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 we've um, acquired, we've, we've bought, we've stacked up. Um, yeah, let's go. So now, this is the entrance. Um, it's a little space, a little space in the house. This is not a sitting room, this is nothing um, but a little getaway space. So, that is, these are are stacks of DVDs, movies. I'm just gonna shut the door so I don't stop the kids. It's quite late at night. So these are stacks of DVDs. Um, and that's football. I always have football on the screen. So this I've got like DVDs players on the floor. I've got, um, in case I'm watch a movie, I put it on there. I could want to listen to music. This is like my little getaway. I'm a big fan of things like that. Look at that, that is nice. That's really nice. I am, um, I picked that up. I'm a very big, big store in town. I wouldn't mention, but it's quite, it's quite nice, quite lovely. A lot of family pictures out there. You see our kids, and hey, look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Smells, smells really nice. So this is where I lay down on the floor. No mattress, no sofa. It just lay down on the floor. Find yourself. Trust me, it's really good. And this book, this book, this book right here is called, it's called The Pastor's Pain. It's called The Pastor's Pain. It's written by um, a man I really admire so much. I call him a mentor because his teachings are very um, enlightening. His teachings are very good. Um, his name is Apostle Johnson Suleiman. This book is called The Pastor's Pain. I was reading it and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. You know, I said I was low today. I've, been, I've just had a very low day, a very um, quiet day. Reflect, I've been in reflection, reflect, like a reflective mood all day and trying to ask myself a cool question, why is this happening, why did that not happen, why haven't that happened? I know some of you go through those kind of moments um, where you ask questions and you're wondering why are things not happening for me or why haven't things happened to me. I'm going to be talking about this, so hang in there whilst I finish my tour of my little get my little getaway room I use for my studio as well. Um, so when my mom wants to lock herself away, she comes here. I want to lock myself away. We come into this room. We um we also use the room for prayers. So I love me my action movies. Mommy, my mama loves um mama loves. Oof. Did I just say mommy? <laughs> so mama loves herself um romantic movies and. All the cuddly, 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 cuddly stuff. Which, um, mm, am I romantic? A man is, um, I, 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 I must not say that how because mama is going to cut my head. How dare you, John, say you're not romantic? So quickly, what do we have here? We have um, Stump the Yard. Many of you should know that. Okay, I'll get this out of the way quickly. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. So I have Stump the Yard. I have, that's mama's Sex and the City. My baby, my dad, my baby's dad, okay? Um, I love this one, Sabotage. I love this one, see that? I love that. I used to love action, man. Plenty, plenty of action. Plenty, plenty of action. 
this is the room we use for prayer so just yeah, some nice pictures out there yeah up there on the wall yes there you go nice pictures I love pictures I love artwork there you go so that's yeah that's the little studio section so we use all of this space all of this space for studio work you see my little kids that's that's changes <laughs> it's causing for some reason whether it's in their studio to chew like a bus so does Chichi so um there you go it's a little tour that's so that's the tour of my little getaway room in the house lovely space in the house um it's quiet it's, it's very quiet to be honest um once you're in this room especially me i can't really speak for mama because she would have been obviously explain and talk to you herself but for me when i'm in this room i feel so so at peace maybe i want to pray or i'm meditating um i'm someone that loves my space occasionally i just want to um it makes me think it makes me um it makes me find myself I know some of you saw the floor like oh like I have like duvets on the floor duvets on the floor you see that see that duvet on the floor so I use that to just lay down my pillows there cup of tea yes my tablet yes so I just use that to lay down and um, think pray sometimes I find myself watching sports football yes so guys, I'm back. Um, I did say today I was feeling a bit low. Um, a lot of people think, oh, as a preacher, you must be always on fire. You're always excited. You're 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 you're, you're feeling. Um, you always feel at the top. Not necessarily, you know. Not necessarily because there are times when I feel like giving up. There are times when I feel like, oh, am I, am I doing the right thing? And I I just end up. Uh, feeling down sometimes you know I did mention that on my platform I will tell you get to know John there's a difference between the anointing being on you when you are preaching you're ministering feeling pumped up you're feeling you know this energy but there's a moment where you are alone and you're just thinking um, that doesn't mean the anointing isn't there but there is a moment where you need to sort of um, encourage yourself in the Lord as well like Elijah Elijah um, there was a moment when Elijah the same man that commanded fire from heaven had to run from a Jezebel so we all I believe go through you might be watching me you might be thinking oh I'm having a very bad day today I'm I'm low in spirit, but be encouraged, you know, be encouraged. Don't don't feel that way. Um, this book is actually a very good book. It's called The Pastor's Pain by Apostle Johnson Suleiman. I read it and a lot of people don't understand what a pastor goes through. You know, I'm trying to get away from the pastoral now and I'm just talking to you as John. They don't know what we go through as pastors and so Picking ourselves up is our personal responsibility and I just thought, you know, I'd like to encourage you, what is, whatever you're going through, be positive, um, don't never feel like, oh, I'm not, never feel like, oh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not good enough, I'm condemned, oh, it's over for me, you never feel that way, it's not over for you, it's not, pick yourself up never feel like you cannot do it yes you can pick yourself up i've had a very low day but i've chosen to pick myself up one thing you have to realize is if you want to be great in life you're ready for the knockdowns you're ready for the beat downs you're ready for the low moments you're ready for moments where you feel isolated true leadership and finding a true path to greatness would make you walk a very lonely walk, live a very lonely life. Um, leadership isolates, greatness isolates. You're aspiring to do something marvelous in life, something beautiful in life, something inspiring in life. You need to 
understand that you go through moments where you feel like you are all alone in this big wide world called planet earth but no you're not alone you're just going through a process a process that isolates but eventually celebrates hey that's heavy a process that isolates but eventually celebrates so go through your isolation process so you enter the time of celebration and isn't it funny when you get to the top everyone now claims to know you listen I said to myself today and I learned today from my little reflection time in my little cube <laughs> my little cube today I learned one thing to get to the top you must go through the low path number one number two to get to the top you must celebrate isolation you must celebrate isolation isolation makes you value yourself isolation makes you um, enjoy your company remember you can never be um, like I said, I'll say you can never be um, you can never be someone else's company others will not want your company if you don't first enjoy your own company I cannot enjoy your company I cannot want to be at I wouldn't want to be in your company if you don't first love yourself if you don't first love your company so love who you are stay true to who you are be encouraged it's not over for you like i said to myself today listen i'm ready to do this i'm ready to keep pushing i'm ready to keep going this is john this is this is this this is this is my time my season of process my time my season of isolation my time my season where it looks like oh you're alone Listen, there are times where you, no one believes in you. No one believes in what you carry. No one believes in, in, in what you've written down as a vision and what you're trying to sell to them. But keep pushing. Remember, no one will buy your vision if you first don't invest in it, if you first don't believe in it. You must first believe in your vision, sell your vision to yourself, be the first, be the, the first client of your vision. Oh, I like that. Be the first client of your vision and watch others buy into it eventually. Listen, and I'm talking to you. It's not over for you. You're special, you're wonderful, you're going somewhere. Yes, you might be down today, but I know tomorrow is going to be better. Tomorrow is going to be encouraging. Um, you might be wondering, wow, is this prophet talking? Is he really charged and pumped up on the stage and the altar, preaching to everyone else? Like I said, this is the Joan and the Josephine YouTube platform on 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 online to keep you encouraged to get to know who I am, to get to know who we are behind the scenes, no suit, no tie, no no glam, it's just John. This book's really helped me, the pastor's pain, and I want you to find things that would help you when you were down. Speak to the right people, read the right books, encourage yourself in the world. That's a very good one. And always think positive. Remind yourself, it's not wrong to be down, but don't stay down. It's not long, it's not wrong to get low, but don't stay low. Find yourself, pick yourself, dust your feet, dust yourself, and rise back up. And trust me, you'll get even higher. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to my page, please do many more vlogs to follow many more videos to be uploaded um we get, we're getting to get the i'm getting to I'm, I'm getting used to this now slowly i don't know how to do this from i'm just i'm just getting used to the whole vlogging thing because people have said uh, prophet john why don't you do something that's more personal no shouting no preaching just talk to us i hope i'm doing that now and if there are many if, if, if there are topics you want me to talk on if there are topics you want me to sort of pre prepare a vlog for make sure you inbox write something at the bottom comment at the bottom click the subscribe button as well click the notification button make sure you do so so that when i pick up your, the, some of your comments and some of your um ideas for or ideas or questions that you want me to deal with i would um, obviously go through them in order i'll pick the best ones or let me say i'll pick as much as i can pick and start preparing something that would also keep you hooked on this platform Hey guys, I love you again. Stay good.
treat yourself nice, stay true to yourself, don't be fake, live life to the fullest. You're not living life to impress anyone, you're living life to be happy. Be happy. Like mama always say, believe it, walk it, talk it, isn't it? Believe it, walk it, talk it. Let me go still up. I don't want to steal her words because she's going to chop my head off. So guys, I love you. Hey, if it's your first time, you're watching this for the first time, share, let someone else know that John and Josephine were now on YouTube with our own vlogs talking about our lives. One, family, two, and number three, everything else in between. I love you again. Stay hooked, stay connected, and get addicted to this channel. Again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Peace out. Bye. The next day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, I'm excited. I'm alive, I'm well. Last night um, was, you know, we had a chat. I was quite low last night. Today, the morning after, I feel good, I feel great. I'm excited, the day started well for me. Got a phone call that made me excited. I received an email that 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 that, 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 that was so good. Good news started my day, and I hope you also started that way. Hey guys, um, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do so. Um, today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about some things, but I think mama also has got something to say, and yeah, actually she's cooking. We're gonna sneak into the kitchen. She doesn't like it when I interfere, but I'm gonna make her yell, get out of my kitchen. I know she does that a lot. So we're gonna sneak into, sneak into the kitchen very quickly, but before we do so, I just wanna make sure that you're doing well. I'm excited you're on this platform again. I'm, gl I'm glad you did not log off or log out or leave. Um, have you talked to someone about my platform, my YouTube channel? Um, it's exciting times ahead. I'm in the studio. We're just also getting ready for um, Prophet's couch to be broadcasted late, later. So yeah, this is the studio. We just getting things ready, like we always do. And hey, JJ as well is here. Doing some work. My God, how you doing, guys? So yeah. So um, there you are. Just gonna go to the kitchen, sneak in and see what Mama is doing. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we are recording. Yes, yeah, this is. Peace. <laughs> I can imagine. How are you doing? So, what are you cooking on? Welcome to what my are you doing? kitchen. Should I get out or should I stay? Um, you can do whatever you want. Can you leave this kitchen? Please go, please. I said, what I say? She's gonna send us away. Watch. Really, should we go? Yeah. Please go. Bye bye. Surprise. I'm not surprised anyway, but hey guys, uh, so I'm excited anyway. Breakfast is getting ready. Um, and yes, from last night, I ended up by saying, Be encouraged. I hope you're really encouraged now. Pick yourself up, get yourself ready, get yourself up, tell yourself you're gonna make it, nothing's gonna stop you, you're gonna do well, you're gonna do good, and you're gonna come correct. Am I communicating? So guys, um, I'm gonna catch up with you the second I need to step out very quickly. Um, I think Mama's got something to say as well, so I'm gonna leave her with um, our part of the dimension, as Mama's dimension of our, of, our, of our channel, and I'll be back with you all later. Peace. Hi everyone, welcome to Josephine's dimension of this channel. Um, I had to send profit away earlier, but I felt like I actually needed to speak to someone. I find that a lot of women actually get to bond in the kitchen. And some of you that might know me personally, and some that know me through ministry, you probably heard Prophet talk about it. I actually have passion for food. I love cooking. I love cooking, but not when someone asks me to cook. I don't know why, I just find it funny. When someone asks me to cook, I resent cooking. But when I go into the kitchen myself, I enjoy food, I enjoy cooking, I enjoy the feeling. I feel like sometimes maybe I should be a cook or a chef, but God hasn't called me to that. I'm just gonna stay in my lane, amen. Um, I'm just cooking egg today. Um, 
for breakfast for the family and um, I'm going to be speaking to you about being encouraged. I know Prophet um, showed you around the studio and our prayer room and spoke to someone yesterday, I believe you were touched, about being encouraged. I want to say to someone that you need to be encouraged because the last nine months, I know you've probably seen our testimony video, if you haven't, it's on Facebook, um, where Prophet shared what we've been through in the last nine months. And it's just been really touching because once when we first got married, um, uh, I love cooking, but I don't like to cook. So that was a thing that was a bit of a frustration for both ourselves, a challenge. I won't say a frustration, it was a challenge because he didn't understand how can someone love to cook, but yet don't like being in the kitchen. But when we experienced what we went through, which some of you might not know, we were, were homeless for a while and God just blessed us with a house. We're very blessed, we're very excited, we're very happy and I've probably spent most of the days since we've been in this house in the kitchen. Can you believe that? So now I, I, there is this un, un, undefined passion for cooking and I think you just appreciate what you have when you don't have it and now it's like I cherish that moment to just be able to cook, to be able to feed my family, to be able to be the mother that they need, to be able to spend time with myself in the kitchen just reflecting, doing things that will be encouraging to someone out there. I believe this platform will be an opportunity for us to talk, to relate, to be able to um, deal with some matters, pressures of life as women. I know a lot of you watching me, some of you are single, you're seeing yourself and thinking, I don't want to be in the kitchen all of the time. There's this cliche that women are supposed to spend their time in the kitchen. I understand you. I was there at one point. But now I feel there is this undefined encouragement to be able to tell someone that it's, it's important for you to cook for your family when you don't have a kitchen when you're spending your time in a bnb for nine months believe you me you will appreciate the the joy of being in your own space being in your kitchen being able to cook living on fast food is not healthy at all i'm a testimony so i just hope that someone was encouraged by this video was encouraged by this opportunity to spend time with me in my kitchen cooking breakfast for my family and i hope you enjoy the opportunity to be able to taste this meal god bless you and i hope you've been blessed if you haven't yet subscribed you are missing what are you waiting for you need to press the subscribe button below and ensure that you click the notification button as well so you could get a um, notification of when uh, we've uploaded our videos amen i hope you've been blessed i really enjoy spending the time with you and i i i, I will invite you into the kitchen to come and have breakfast with us but uh, i don't know how that is possible maybe i'll show you at the end the little plate of meal maybe you can imagine you eating it even though you're not bless you i love you all bye <laughs>